Welcome to Rick Rack Ruby. I'm Laura Clubo. Today we will be making this golden star angel. She's fun and easy, so let's get started. To make this angel, we'll start with a chenille stem. This is 12 inches long, folded in half. This half is going to, this uh, fold is going to become the neck of the angel. And then I have this golden white baker's twine that I've threaded already onto this needle. And I'm just going to put that through there like this. Just leave that for a second. This will be the arms, here's the face, and we're gonna make a pom-pom with a white yarn. Now you can use any color of yarn that you like. This is a 25 millimeter clover pom-pom maker. I'm gonna wrap it 25 times. I like my pom-poms to be a little bit shaggy, not just like a ball, because I feel like if you want those kind of like fuzzball pom-poms, you can just buy those. There we go. I have wrapped each side of the pom-pom maker 25 times with this acrylic yarn. It's just basic yarn. And I'm going to tie it off with a length of this stretchy cord. I like to make pom-poms with a stretchy cord because you can open them up and slide them over things, which is what we're gonna do here. So I'm going to cut up the little channels and the sides of the pom-pom. and then tie off the center with my stretchy cord. So I'll just mm, tie it on one side. I don't wanna pull it too tight. I've never had the stretchy cord break, but it's possible that if I pulled it too hard, it might break. So I wanna be careful and then tie it on the other side. If you've never made a pom-pom, they are very easy to make. This is not a pom-pom tutorial necessarily, but I think you can get the gist of it just by watching me. It's very easy. My grandson, five years old, and he can make these, so I'm sure you can. <laughs> now, when I open up the pom-pom, and I'm gonna take one half off, there's a hole right through the center, and I'm trying to sort of maintain that, like I know where it is, I'm kind of holding on to it right here and I'm gonna send my needle through. And this is how I'm going to pull the pom-pom down over the body. This will be the neck. Oh, and I always lose a few little pieces of yarn when I do that, but it's not that big of a deal. So this will be her little collar right here, like a little ruffled collar, and then her arms go through. The arms are above the collar. That looks good. And then I'm going to thread the head on from the bottom to the top and slide that down over that folded over top of the pipe cleaner of the chenille stem. See, it's right there. And that's too far out. So I just want to show you how that works and then I'll pull it back. So we've got the, the chenille stem is filling that hole in the head bead. And I've already put my face, this is 20 millimeter wooden bead. I've already created the face. You can find the instructions for the face in my Focus on Faces video. Now I'm going to secure the head to the top of the pipe cleaner, the chenille stem, with a little bit of hot glue right here in the back center, right here. There we go. Now I'm just gonna tie this off. I'll trim it a little bit and tie this off at the top. There we go. We have the, the hanging loop, the arms, the head, the pom-pom collar, the body and the two legs right here. Now we're going to make the skirt. This is a half a yard, 18 inches of 
ivory colored tool. I know it's hard to see. Here you can see it, right? 18 inches. And I've also cut 18 inches of this rickrack trim. Now you don't have to use this exact trim. You can use any trim. And I'm going to sew it to the hem, one edge of the six inch tool. I'm going to secure it with my clips with these right along the edge. And I know it's hard to see, but you know it's there. And I'm just going to top stitch it all along the edge. And I'll be right back. This is what the six inch tool look like. It comes on a roll. It's easy to find at any craft store. So I've sewed this um, rickrack trim to one edge and now I'm gonna fold it right sides together and I'm gonna seam up the sides. There's the seam and now I'm gonna tuck it, the straight edge, the bare edge inside so that I, now I have sort of like a three inch Piece, and I'm going to gather it up along that top folded edge. I just folded the, the plain edge, the untrimmed edge to the inside, and I'm going to gather up this folded edge along here. I'm just doing a running, running stitch in and out, in and out. It doesn't have to be perfect. go. Now the skirt is going to go right up against the pom-pom with the seam in the back. So I'm going to push it up really high all the way up like that. So it's not, it's kind of like a high-waisted dress like that. And I'm going to secure this in the back and I'm going to sew through. So I'll sew through from the back to the front and then from the front to the back and then side to side and just make sure that's really nice and tight. There's her little skirt and I'm going to just move her hands down to get them out of the way and so I might as well just join them. See I made like two little hooks. I'll show you again. Just two little hooks and kind of hook them together like that. Now let's do the hair. I'm just using um, a couple of strands of yarn together. These are both natural fibers. These are both very fine mohairs, but you can use any yarn. Don't think that you have to have this exact yarn. I'm gonna do five loops. So one and two, three and four and five. I'll do two bundles like this and I do have a um, something like a Ruby's hair technique so that if you want to see this slower or in more detail or different ways to make hair there's a whole video on that. I made it such a long time ago it's probably really slow and long and boring but if you want to um, you know get a little bit more detail you can watch that and here I'll do this a little bit more let me Okay, ready? So hold it like this and go one and two and three and four and five. And it doesn't matter if your fingers are bigger or smaller or farther apart or closer together. It's not that big of a deal. Her hair might be a little bit shorter, a little bit longer, but it's going to work. So I talk through that. <laughs> Sorry, but I think you could see how the the yarn goes all the way around make a circle and then use the first piece to tie it off I don't uh, cut these too short because sometimes then you the knot gets untied So I have two little bundles one two and I'm going to apply some hot glue to the back of her head It's a circle of glue press either one of the bundles into the glue the top center behind the hanging loop and then into that little circle of glue. It's like a little glue penny on the back of her head. This part isn't quite sticking so I'll add a little bit more glue there. That looks good. And then the second bundle will be in the front of the hanging loop. So I'm going to apply some glue right there over the hole. There we go. Now I'm just going to see how this looks. I'll twist it toward the back, each side toward the back and just 
See how it's going to look? That looks good. So I, I will apply some glue along the side of the head here and then twist and press. This is plenty of hair. I think I could have done just four loops. It would have been fine. And then the same thing over here. I'll apply some glue along the side of her face right there and then just twist and press. That looks good. This looks good. I think I'll add a little bit more glue right in there and I'll just press that back a little bit. And I'm gonna press that back a little. There, she's looking good. Let's add her halo. We're gonna use this 20 gauge gold wire. You don't need very much, just about an inch and a half or two inches. And then I'm gonna form it into a circle. I use my thimble. That looks good. I'm gonna put some glue on each end and then press that into the sides of the head like that for her halo. That looks good. Now let's make her legs look like legs. I'm gonna bend up the foot that's a little too sharp, not that much. A little, mm, a little gentle curve like that. And then the knee, just a gentle little knee. And she's going to be flying, so she can be like, oh, like this. Um, what's next? Okay, so now we'll make her wings. This is just a tinsel stem, a gold stem. You can make it out of anything you like. I'm just keeping with this sort of like a golden white theme. Fold this in half, fold each side down, and then these little ends go up and around. So they're up and around, up and around. I know that's hard to see. The little sharp ends go around those little loops there. So I make little points there and they they're kind of leaf shaped, but you don't have to make them. You can make them, you know, wide. You can make them round, anything you like. I'm just gonna do the leaf shape for this one. And then I can feel the, the ends of the tinsel stem are right here. So I'm going to put some glue right here so that the pointy parts are against her head. So then I'm just going to glue that, it's hot glue right to the back of her head. Don't put them too low. You don't want to glue into the pom-pom. It won't be secure. There we go. And now she's going to hold in her hands a gold glitter star. I have some options. Okay, so there's these, 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 and these. These are too small, so I'm gonna put those aside. I think I'll just use one of these, maybe. There's kind of a small and a medium and a large. That's actually, I think there's four sizes. There's one, two, three, four sizes. This is the, not the smallest, but the next to the smallest. So the second biggest, does that make sense? Yeah, I like that. Okay, so I'm gonna, this is sticky, but I never trust that adhesive. So I'm just gonna add some glue to it. And I'll just glue that to her hands as if she were holding it. There we go. The Golden Star Angel is complete. Thank you for watching my tutorial. If you're enjoying my videos, please like, share, and subscribe.